Happy Sunday and welcome to my cooking segment where I'm going to show you today my favorite and super easy breakfast hash. So I'm going to wait and see who can join me today live. I'm Coach Ray Ann. I'm a nutrition, fitness, lifestyle coach for women. I love having you guys join me on Sundays to see how easy it is to prep and cook easy, healthy food. You don't have to be a, a chef to have healthy food, clearly, because I am no chef. <laughs> Hi, who is there? Hello, hello, I see people popping on now. I just can't see who, but thank you guys for joining me. Um, so the reason that this was inspired today, well, a couple of reasons, actually. Um, first, I, um, recently have been taking out eggs from my um, normal um, eating plan because I've been having some inflammation. I have something called Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease. You know, doesn't normally bug me that much, but every once in a while I have pretty high inflammation. And so recently my inflammation was up again and my doctor just recommended that I take out eggs because things like gluten and dairy and sometimes nuts and sometimes grains and eggs and there's all kinds of things that make you inflamed and some people are affected by other some things and some people are affected by the other foods so i have been doing an egg challenge meaning i've taken egg out and so to be honest with you i was like what no eggs what the heck hey pam hi 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 thanks for joining me so anyway i've been having no eggs which, you know, you it's funny. It's like when you go no eggs, you realize how many things have eggs in it. And you're like, what? But anyway, so that took out one of my favorite things ever. And that's an egg scramble with veggies in the morning. So I had to get creative and I had to think of other ways to get good protein and fiber and fill energy for the day. So that is where a hash comes in. Okay, so that's why I'm going to show you. The second reason I'm telling you this is because... Every week when I'm talking to women all over the country about their health goals and weight loss goals and teaching them ways to make healthy food that fits into their lifestyle, so many women are telling me that they are tired of eggs, that they're just sick of eating eggs every day. And the other thing they're sick of is eating protein shakes every day, which I don't think I'm ever going to get really sick of those, but I hear you, right? So I decided this would be a great way. So as we know, and if you've been watching these with me for a while, you'll know that I 100% believe in eating your meals that are full of protein and fiber first, protein and fiber first, okay? So if you're not having eggs for breakfast and you're not having a protein shake for breakfast, where else are you going to get your protein? And that is where my favorite um, meat comes in, and that is ground turkey, okay? So my hash, usually a hash comes from things like potatoes and vegetables like a like a breakfast hash you know like a potatoes so today i am going to show you we're going to do sweet potatoes ground turkey zucchini onion and garlic and that's it it's the easiest thing ever hi Kristen. hey guys hey so i have Kristen and Kristen. hey and pam kathleen hello hello miss del mckinney aka mom <laughs> Always glad to have you here. All right, so this, you guys, is super easy. I'm gonna pass the um, phone camera over to my my cameraman really quick, really quick. Oh, there you go. Okay, so what I wanna show you what I did first. Let's just get right to it. I've done some of the prep work so that we can go a little bit faster today. Um, the first thing I did was earlier, I roasted a whole pan of sweet potato, and actually this is only two sweet potatoes, and as you can see, they shrink up, and that makes me sad because I love them. <laughs> I want them to do more. I want more of them, but this is two. Okay, this is minus several bites that I stole, but I went ahead, I just diced or cubed up two sweet potatoes. I tossed them in olive oil, and then I just dusted them in chili powder, and then just some salt, okay? And I roasted them at 425 for about um, 25 minutes, okay? See how they're like nice and browned? Mm. Man, I gotta stop, because have you ever like eaten so many sweet potatoes that you're like sick, because they're so sweet, 
and so great, but they kind of can make you feel sick if you eat too much because of the sweetness. So anyway, that was step one. Now, could you eliminate this? Absolutely. Um, you could just do the other part that I'm going to show you. Or, you, if you don't like sweet potatoes, you could do regular potatoes, um, like a russet potato, or you could do red potatoes, like new potatoes. Um, really anything. You could do butternut squash here. You could do acorn squash. What else? So anything, anything like that, okay? So kind of like a root vegetable would be awesome there, okay? So that was the first step. Now the second one is I need to heat my pan up here. We are going to cook our ground, lean ground turkey, okay? So I'm just going to open that. All right, so I just found whatever the store had, to, like, when I was there yesterday. So this is a 93.7, so 93% lean turkey. You can go 99%, which would make it even more lean, but then you're going to need to add a little fat so it's not sticking to the pan. So I've just learned that I prefer the 93.7, and I cook it and then I drain any excess fat that is left over. Sometimes there's hardly anything and sometimes there's a lot. So I think it just depends, you know, on the brand and on the, um, just, just depends, okay? So let me make sure that's heating up. Now again, if you were using like 99% lean, you would wanna make sure that you put some oil, either some coconut oil, avocado oil, or olive oil or something in the pan, just so that it won't stick, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and plop this in there. Okay, we'll get that going. I'm going to keep this carton because I use it to pour the excess grease into. Okay, so I'm just going to keep that over there. Oh, hang on. You can go over there. I accidentally touched the meat. I don't want to get raw turkey on my hands right now. Okay, so then I'm just going to use a wooden spatula to kind of break up the meat. And you guys, this is so simple. I, I am going to send out a recipe, but to be honest with you, I had to kind of make it up because... It's just more like throwing stuff together than really like a recipe. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm going to get that going. All right. Now I'm going to keep the flavors really simple, and I'll explain why in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to get some of that gooey stuff off of there. Ew. <laughs> I think I'm making a mess. All right, so I'm also, what I've done already is cut up one large zucchini. Okay, I just cut it into quarters, like sliced quarters. And then I have an onion here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the onion in now. Because I like the onion to get um, nice and soft and tender with the um, turkey. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this over here. Okay, I'm just going to put in the... Onion. So this is about a, a smaller to medium yellow onion. I always buy like those bags of yellow onions so that I always have onions on hand. Okay. And then I also I also minced up two garlic cloves, but I'm gonna wait and put them in in a little bit. Okay. So let's go ahead and stir all this together. Okay. Now you could, if you wanted to. You could also cook the potatoes in the pan as well, but I've just learned that I prefer to cook mine in the oven. I just like the taste better, but I also, I'd like them to be done a little bit more. And I found when I cook it in the pan, like with the meats and everything, they don't get quite um, as done, or you have to cook them a lot longer. So I just go ahead and take the extra step and make the potatoes. So at the end, I'm going to show you, I just throw everything into a container and put it in the refrigerator so that I can just scoop out whatever I want in the morning, okay, um, for breakfast. Now, you could eat this for lunch or for dinner, but I like it for breakfast because I'm getting a good source of protein, getting some fiber because I put the zucchini and the onion, um, and then also even fiber from the sweet potato, but I'm getting good whole grain or, you know, whole, whole food carbs. Um, that are, I'm going to use, okay? Because I definitely, with my activity level, use those carbs up. All right. So that's still cooking. Now I wanted to tell you, I keep this really simple, meaning that there's not a ton of seasonings and spices in it, because, well, first.
first of all, I just really like, I'm kind of plain Jane. I'm a little bit of a plain Jane when it comes to like this kind of meal. I like just a garlicky, salty taste. Okay, so I will be adding the garlic to it and we'll add some salt, but here's what you can do. I have just these random mixes of spices. So when you make it really plain, anything which is garlic and salt, you can like jazz up, right? So some days I feel like having everything but the bagel seasoning. So I'll scoop it out, heat it up, and then sprinkle a little of the everything but the bagel seasoning on top, which is awesome because it's sesame seeds, um, poppy seeds, garlic, onion. It's just a little bit of everything. Okay, I love it. It's so tasty. So good on eggs if you're eating eggs. Okay, I just lost my shoe. Hang on. All right, so sometimes I want that. So if I just leave it plain, I can choose each day what flavor I want. The other thing is there's these great seasonings called Dizzy Pig. Um, this one's called Shake in the Tree. It's like a, like a lemon pepper. It's really good on this as well. So sometimes I want that. And then I also get this one from Trader Joe's called 21 Seasoning Salute. It's just kind of a mixture of everything. And it, not everything but the bagel, but it's like just all kinds of just basic things like margarine, parsley, basil, cayenne, um, onion. I can't really read it very good because I'm a glass one. But it's just a nice flavor, okay? So um, let me stir this around again. Good. So I'm not seeing a lot of fat on here. I am seeing some water, you know, coming off of the onion. So I don't even think I'm going to drain it, okay? Now, if you really, really, really like to drain the meat, that's fine. Go for it. I'm usually kind of picky about it, to be honest, because... <laughs> I feel like with ground turkey, if you drain it or you get the leaner it is, the less it tastes like a ground turkey. You know, it just tastes like whatever you season it with. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. So like I said, I am not gonna drain it. Normally right now I would drain it, but it's, it's actually looking great. So now I'm gonna add in the zucchini and the garlic, okay? So I'm just gonna throw in the zucchini. Now here's the cool thing. The reason I'm using zucchini today is because it's summer. And zucchini right now is, you know, plentiful. We have lots of it available. It was like sticking. Huh. Okay. Actually, I'm going to get that stirred around before I add my garlic. Okay. But I also may make this exact same meal all year round. So my very ultimate favorite is with Brussels sprouts. Okay. I like to take Brussels sprouts. I either buy a bag of shredded. Oh, it's hot. I just like burned myself. Um, there's like steam coming up, it's burning. Um, so what I do is I either buy a bag of already shredded Brussels sprouts and throw it in with the ground turkey, okay, or ground chicken, by the way, um, and do that. Or, or I buy whole Brussels sprouts and just quarter them, okay? But it's the exact same process. So I just like to give you ideas of how you can switch it up to make it your own. So that's one way. Just switching the vegetables. You could add broccoli. You could do like summer squash instead of zucchini, or you could do both. Um, you could even put in tomatoes. You could do cauliflower. Um, you could do um, really anything, okay? But my favorite, and, and just to be like totally like clear with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of cooked vegetables, really. So. Um, so I also like peppers in here, like bell peppers is really good. But I'm trying to use basic vegetables that I actually don't mind eating every day. Okay, so zucchini is one of those. And to be honest, I think I like zucchini because there's not much flavor. <laughs> but I feel good about my choice. Like I know I'm getting some fiber, I know I'm getting some water, and it's good for me. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw in the garlic. So I just took, I took three garlic cloves and minced them. And I'm just gonna dump them in. Okay, just shake them in there. And I'm going to throw in some salt. Okay, I'm just going to do, I have like a bowl of salt and I'm just going to do a big pinch. Okay, now I know everybody here has different needs. So if you maybe have, you know, high blood pressure or maybe you need to watch, um, you know, just sodium levels in your diet, which is always a good idea. But here's a funny thing for you. I actually am the opposite. I am being told I need more sodium, more sodium. 
because I have such low blood pressure. So, um, so FYI, if you feel low blood pressure, then you might want to talk to your doctor about adding more sodium, which sounds really, I know, backwards, but everybody's unique and has different needs. So look into that. Okay, that's getting pretty warm. Okay, so that, you guys, <laughs> that is an easy breakfast. This is the protein and fiber part. And then the carb part is the sweet potato. So what happens is um, I am going to, I, I have this glass bowl. After this cools down a little bit, um, I'll put it into this glass bowl. And I'll probably, I think today I'm going to keep my um, sweet potatoes separate in another bowl. But in the morning what I'll do is I'll scoop out the amount of potatoes that I want, probably half a cup or so. And then about a cup of this. Okay, heat it in the microwave, and then I'll pick whatever seasoning I feel like for on top, okay? And that's it. And I know that I'm the only one eating it this week because no one else likes it. So, um, or they might, I don't know. It's mine, but <laughs> they better not eat it. <laughs> this is my breakfast, my, this is my meal prep for the week, okay? So, it's a great make ahead meal to, like I said, keep in the refrigerator. Oh, and I, I meant to tell you this. If you do eat eggs, I'll tell you what's awesome, is getting this just on a plate, heat it up, and then put a fried egg on top. Oh, like with a runny yolk, and then you like break the yolk and get it all over it. Oh, I'm so jealous. I want eggs. I want some. But um, that is it, you guys. So it's really, really tasty. I'm not going to put it together because I'm using it this week. I'm not going to eat it right now. But another idea would be to like put in your bowl just a scoop of the potatoes, that on top. You could put cheese on top, feta cheese, goat cheese. Oh, I just had that idea. Goat cheese would be awesome. With a little of the everything with the bagel seasoning, amazing. Okay? So tons of flavor. Look how easy it was. Um, probably the longest thing it took was roasting the sweet potatoes. Okay? But... The other thing is, I'm just trying to give you more ideas, is you could have a baked sweet potato, open it up, get it all like mushy, you know, and dump that on top. That'd be great. So that's actually one of our family's favorite um, meals is making taco meat like that and putting it in a sweet potato, um, like a sweet potato taco boot type thing. So you could do the same thing with this. Um, I did want to show you one more thing. So I also love these like already cooked um, chicken, apple, like sweet apple chicken sausages. Another great idea for breakfast that is not eggs or a protein shake would be to chop these up, mix it with your sweet potato. Um, so instead of the ground turkey, you could just have like vegetables, roasted vegetables, and one of these. So this is your protein, the veggies would be your fiber, potato would be your carb. It's another great, easy thing. And then finally, Yesterday, another one of my favorite things is I made um, maple blueberry um, breakfast sausages. And I made it out of, I better stir this. Um, ah, it's starting to stick. I made it out of ground turkey because I had some, but a lot of times I use ground chicken for that. You could use ground pork. But basically, I just took seasonings that go into, an, um, into sausage, like fennel seeds, sage, um, but because I made it a little bit more um, sweet, I put in nutmeg and cinnamon, maple syrup, and then blueberries. And they were amazing. So if you would like that recipe, let me know, and um, I'll get that out too, because that's another great way. Um, but you could also eat egg with that. Okay, so you just have to get creative. Get out of your, you know, your rut with your food and try some new things. Try some new vegetables. Try some new types of breakfast. You know, you don't have to have traditional breakfast foods. Um, I even don't mind like a breakfast salad once in a while. Okay. So it, you can definitely get creative with it. Okay. So let me, let me take this back. Thank you. I'm going to zoom in more time. Super simple. It's basically meats and vegetable that we're going to combine with some sweet potatoes. All right. All right. Do you guys have any questions? So remember, you spice it up by using different spices, okay? Um, that way, every day you get a new flavor. It's so exciting. <laughs> oh, hi, Alicia. Looking forward to talking to you this week. Hey, Toby. Maggie. Hey, guys. All right. Thanks for joining me. 
Let me know if you try making something different and unique for breakfast, because I want to hear you. Um, also remember, you can eat leftovers. I mean, grilled chicken for breakfast really isn't as weird as it sounds. I mean, you eat eggs, that comes from a chicken, <laughs> right? Okay, well, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. And I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know yet. It's always a surprise to me too. So I will see you then. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.